UFOs are firing cruise missiles at American airline flights. Meanwhile, a United 777 has an epic engine failure. Coincidence? Hmm. This and is it time to remove Cherokee from all the Piper planes on taking off? Hi, this is Dan Milliken. We're here on a shoot for S Films and I thought I'd get an update for you on the aviation world. And of course, there's no coincidence. No UFOs attacked in the airlines this week. The week in aviation world has been a little busy. And first off, the United flight that everyone should have heard about by now, and that's a 777-200 series took off from Denver for a trip to Hawaii and experienced a right engine failure. And by failure, I mean a catastrophic drop engine parts all over the neighborhood kind of failure. Incredibly fortunate that not only did the pilot successfully land the damaged plane, but the, no debris injured anyone on the ground. And I'm not gonna break it all down for you. Um, Juan Brown at Blanco Lirio has a great breakdown on his channel. Especially with him being a 777 captain, he has a special insight into this. But what can the general aviation community take away from this one to make us a better pilot and a better person? Well, how about the flight crew's professional response to an emergency like this? They declared an emergency right away something I think us GA pilots are reticent about doing. They took a breath and ran their checklist. They made wise decisions on which runway to land on and which procedures to use. And if I have an emergency, I want to emulate them. A calm, systematic approach to the crisis. And um, speaking of uh, calm, systematic approaches, this brings us to American Airlines Flight 2292 flying high over New Mexico on February 21st. The pilot contacted ATC inquiring if they had any radar target on an object that passed over them at a high rate of speed. Have any targets up here? We just had something go right over the top of us. That, I hate to say it, this looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. And the plane was around 37,000 feet, and surprisingly, neither the FBI or the FAA has commented. Go figure. Where's Mulder when you need him? And if something was being tested out of the nearby White Sands missile range, then I'd say something went horribly awry. But either way, the pilot saw something, and nobody's offering an explanation at this time. Well, at least not an official one. I mean, uh, lots of people are offering explanations, and you can add yours in the comments below. Okay, so now let's go to a political, politically sensitive topic of today's uh, issues. The football team in Washington has announced they're in no hurry to name a new mo mascot for the team after being known as the Redskins for decades. And now demands are being made by the chief of the Cherokee Nation to remove the Cherokee off the venerable Jeep. And I think you see where I'm going with this. How long until Piper has to rename all their planes? Besides Cherokee, you have a plethora of other Native American references in their line of aircraft. And I know what I think about this, but you tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Should they rename the Cherokee Piper, the Seneca, and all those? As for me, clearly, this is cancel culture at its finest. And if someone were to name a cool vehicle or an airplane after me or my people long after I'm gone, I would be honored if I weren't so dead. Redskin, I get it, more of a negative slang, but where does it stop? And because I'm bringing this up, will this show now get canceled? I hope not. Okay, now on to some comments and questions we've gotten a lot of. Most of you have seen the video where Christy talks about a flying club member being caught doing aerobatics in her Piper Cherokee Warrior. And there's been a couple of questions that we're seeing over and over again. Well, we caught up to Christy recently on our live broadcast, and she answered those two questions. Okay. Number one question about the Wong Warrior being flown inverted. Here we go. Okay. People all over are asking, tell us their name. you got to protect us. you got to dox the guy. What's your response? I will not do that. <laughs> and why? I will not do that because... Um... I have been advised by a legal counsel and aviation lawyer that said, it's just not a good idea. I mean, what, we're not going to gain anything from it. We're dealing with the issue in house. 
you know, I know a lot of people want answers. They want his name and whatnot, but you know, it's just, it's not worth it. What's done is done. I've already advised the local area flying clubs, flight schools, and rental businesses of who this person is. We have an unofficial blacklist. <laughs> and um, so they've, they've been made aware of the situation, but as far as uh, putting his name out there, we're, we're not going to do that. Number two is... <laughs> Surely you're not paying for all the inspections and all the, the work that's being done on your warrior. You know, are, is the guy paying for it? That's what people want to know. Is he paying for it? What's your answer? So that's the plan is that we are working with his uh, insurance. We do require all of our flying club members to carry insurance. Uh, and so we are currently working with his insurance in order to uh, get that paid, get the inspections paid. Okay. So it is going to come through his insurance, and it's going to pay for all these inspections. That's what we're working on. That's what we're hoping for. But uh, the story is not over yet. We're still in process of like getting through everything. Well, that's the quick TLDR wrap up for the aviation community this week. Please like and subscribe. And on one last thing, I always end with superior judgment trumps superior skills. And invariably, someone will point out one of my flying videos where I demonstrate the opposite in clear hypocrisy. So I'm going to stress to you guys what I said when I first uttered those words. The saying or mantra is for me first. And if you can benefit from it, great. But I know myself. I sometimes lack judgment and then I hope and pray for superior skills to get me out of the jam I shouldn't have put myself into in the first place. So to those who point out the hypocrisy, well, you're right. I own it. And that's why I say it, to remind myself, Dan, superior judgment trumps superior skills. You sure you want to do that? Let's all stay safe.